What's up everybody, it's Brandon Brashears. Today we're gonna to talk about landing page software. Should you even have landing page software? Should you just use your WordPress site? Should you use your Squarespace site? What should you use? There's so many options. I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts and why I think that one stands above the others, in my opinion. All right, let's get into the video. All right, landing page softwares. There are so many landing page softwares out there. You got Thrive Builders, you got ClickFunnels, Lead Pages. There's all kinds of things that you can use for squeeze pages and landing pages. So I think there's two things to consider. First, are you going to be selling things on your landing page or are you just looking to create leads and do lead gen? Because I think that there's a lot of difference between trying to sell something and then trying to collect contact data. So. Um, in general, you just have a lot of different uh, items that you need to cover and converting, I'm sorry, optimizing for a purchase event and optimizing for an opt-in are really, really different events. And so they need to be treated differently for sure. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is what software you should use to generate as many opt-ins as possible. Now, um, I know that a lot of people swear by using Facebook lead ads and I totally understand it's like the lowest barrier of entry as far as with lead ads. If you're not familiar with those, those are ads that have a form that's native to Facebook or Instagram. Um, they have lead ads for Instagram now, which is super cool, but, uh, it's like the lowest quality of leads that you can possibly get. And so, especially with, it seems like everybody that's doing real estate agency work has a, a digital marketing agency for real estate agents and things. Um, they swear by lead ads, but like you have to follow up really, really quickly. Um, there's just so much work that needs to go into that. And in my opinion, um, I like having people go to a page and actually fill out their phone number. If you're going to be collecting phone numbers, that way they put their best phone number in. It's not the one that they used when they first signed up. And that way you have the most accurate data possible. So personally, like I know that we can get really, really cheap cost per leads with lead ads. But at the end of the day, I'm looking for my clients to get really high quality leads typically. Um, and it always just depends. I mean, there's not 100% one right way or 100%. Well, there is 100% wrong ways to do things, but there's not a, the perfect way to do things. And so you're gonna have to find out what works best for you. But that being said, and that, that kind of disclaimer given, um, I think that having uh, for, for opt-in pages and just in general for the kind of work that I do, which is I do digital marketing as an agency. I build out a lot of custom funnels and it's always, you know, changing work with, you know, I have a software company, a software startup, a SaaS product that is in the veterinary industry, a continuing education seller, um, a car parts, uh, manufacturer, you know, all these really, really different, um, categories and types of businesses. So, it's really, really important to me that I have a tool that I know is really consistent, that integrates really, really easily, that I can make changes too quickly, that doesn't take a lot of time to train people on as well on, on how to create elements and, and change elements inside of something. And so for that reason, I really like lead pages. And um, you know, there's lead pages, there's click funnels, there's Thrive themes, Thrive builders, Divi themes, you know, I'm sure there's so many more that I'm missing out on and, and leaving out. But I really like lead pages just because it's simple to use. It's very easy to um, integrate with your email marketing software. It's easy to set up pixels and tracking and track with great efficiency and effectiveness. And um, I think that that is fantastic. I can also duplicate templated pages that I build really quickly and then have um, my content dropped in there so that I can create lots of uh, pages really, really quickly, and then have very uh, effective conversion rates and, and conversion rate tracking. And typically when I'm creating landing pages, I'm looking for something to convert in. Hopefully I'm shooting for 35% conversion rate. Um, sometimes it can be lower depending on kind of what the ask is, but with it's just like collecting contact info, that's what I'm shooting for most of the time, at least that much. Um, so that being said, I love lead pages. And um, I think that if you love click funnels or if you find something that works really, really well for you, then that's great. Uh, I just have found that click funnels a lot of times is in general when building out things and building out integrations 
it just is a little bit clunky and it, I can't tell you how many times we've had funnels that we've built out and something wasn't right and it was a weird setting or you know it just takes so much tedious checkup and when I'm the only guy that's that's building out funnels there's like a million points of possible breakage and so having your landing page software be one of those points it kills me and so I love having the simplicity of being able to know that when somebody clicks this button and puts it in there it's going to automatically register them for every webinar and it's also going to automatically put them into my infusionsoft um, campaign and i can make sure that it's working properly and that, that there's not going to be any issue with that so for that reason i really really like it now if you're selling products like e-commerce products and things um it depends a lot on what specific uh software you're using to sell are you using WooCommerce are you using Shopify I think if you're creating uh, landing pages for that there's um, Ezra Firestone's product that's called Zipify and I, th I think that that's probably the best option for creating single product landing pages that can sell products um, easily that allows for easy custom creation of landing pages for your products uh, and I've used a bunch of other things. We've used WooCommerce and Squarespace and Wix. And in general, I think that Shopify 100% right now is leading kind of the charge in innovation and um, plugins and just ease of use. What I love about Shopify so much is that when you input your pixel ID for Facebook or for Google, it'll automatically create custom um, standard conversion events for Facebook, for example. So that way you can track your add to cart rate. When you, you know, when you're creating an ad that's that's optimized for that conversion action, you're able to see exactly what your add to cart rate is, where people are dropping off. And I think that like that data is so valuable. You can create retargeting audiences out of those people. And I mean, it just is out of the box, easy to use. And I think that that's so important for people today. Um, if you are trying to sell a product, your software shouldn't get in the way of what you're doing. And so I think the same thing for doing lead gen. It needs to work easily, work, work seamless with what you have as far as marketing softwares, and then just kind of get out of the way and, and allow you to, to sell and send traffic. And so for those reasons, I like lead pages. And if you're selling products, I like Shopify. Now lead pages does integrate with Stripe, so you can do um, payment processing in lead pages if you wanted to and they do have some pretty attractive looking carts uh, products and things i would say though if you're gonna use that i would make it a really really simple maybe one step funnel where you're doing a tripwire or something otherwise i would upgrade into shopify just because they have all the bells and whistles shopify is made to sell you can do it with squarespace it just it's not made to sell in my opinion so i think squarespace and wix and these other html5 creators are better used for just content or services um, and even then I would rather do WordPress if I was just doing content so that's just my personal thought what do you think what are you using for your landing pages um, am I totally wrong here I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button subscribe I do daily videos here where I talk about marketing I create a video about marketing and I also do a vlog where I talk about my income challenge that I'm trying to build my agency up 12,500 bucks a month in additional recurring revenue for my agency and um, I hope that you like these videos I'll see you on the next one have a great day